Hey guys, it's Sky from Jackson Gaming again. Welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil 3 Remake. Joe just woke up and Joe saw that the government announced that a missile strike will hit Raccoon City. Oh, burst mode. Okay, they just gave us a new gun that's pretty lit. Don't forget to like this video. It helps me out. And let's continue. Morning, sunshine. You saved my life. I sure as shit didn't. That was all Carlos. He carried you here and he treated you himself. Crazy bastard. Where is he? He went underground. Bard stockpiled the vaccine, enough to give the city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. Wait, did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. So am I. <laughs> right. Guess I'm not talking you out of this. No, you are not. The storage facility is underground, beneath this hospital. I've lost contact with Carlos, so expect trouble. Or is there anything else Joe can pick up? I'm not seeing anything I can grab. Oh, it says Crave. Oh, there it is. I didn't see it. Handgun ammo. Oh, I'm full of that, apparently. You know what? Let's... No, I didn't want to combine. Mother... God damn it. Okay, there. I guess for now we can put this one away. And then we'll bring you up here. Anything else I'm missing? I don't think so. Alright, I hope he does his best. How did- More ammo. Is it too much to hope for the hallways to be empty since Carlos kind of killed everything on his own? Oh look, we can go through here, cause Joe has the lockpick. Well, I guess these ones will have zombies then, because Carlos couldn't go here. <gasps> oh, wait, before we do that then. If that goes that way, that's probably where we need to go. So, real quick. I kind of like the music in this part. It's not the ominous that one that Carlos got, but it's like really suspicious and mysterious, but also a little faster. Gives me that feeling like I'm searching for something. Which I guess you could say I kind of have been. I opened the door and this is the first thing I see. Did I jump? Maybe just a little bit. Just a tiny little bit. Wait, did I just go in a circle? No, I was supposed to go here. Alright, here we are. Oh! Okay, that startled me. <laughs> That wasn't very cool of you. Wait, if you came from there, is dude still alive? How? How are you alive? I mean, I'm glad you're alive, but... I don't- honestly, I don't know. <gasps> we can get rid of the lockpick now. That means there's nothing else with those yellow lock... 
box. Holy shit. Okay, I'm gonna put that away. Um, I think we should save that for harder zombies to kill. So I'm gonna use you for now. Shortcut up. All right, let's hit that save. anything? No. Alright, here we go. We're going underground. There's someone down there. I thought I heard shit. I don't like it here. This is already reminding me of the sewers. And I don't like it. More handgun ammo. Alright, let's move on. Oh my god, what the fuck happened here? Umbrella trucks everywhere. Oh, this must be the way in front. Explosive B. Okay, we still have space for one more slot. Ah. I don't think I can reach you, so... Okay, so there was nothing else there. I'm guessing we hit this? Yep. Quite the under they chose the hospital to have Umbrella's Laboratory under, huh? Or maybe not Umbrella's Laboratory this for was it no one in the hospital ever noticed all this? Maybe yeah, Umbrella's Laboratory. That's a good question, Jill. My guess, um fucking umbrella paid all the high end people. Not high end, but all the people in command. He's like, let us do this, blah, blah, blah. We'll give you lots of money. And they were like, yeah. Oh, I think I'm supposed to hit this. Alright, let's go up. underground storage area is fucking huge. Look at that. They just have so many trucks. Oh, we have a safe room. Elevator notice. We've identified an issue with the electrical box where concurrent use of heavy machinery overloads it and causes the bees to float. If you encounter this problem and can't get the elevator running, please stay calm. Gather fuses from the sub generators situated around the warehouse and use those to restore power from the main generator as quickly as possible. <gasps> they give us a hit pouch. Yay. Alright, what are we gonna do? 
can restore you. And you. And then I think just in case we'll take one more of you. And save. Alright, I'm gonna cut it here. Because I feel like it's a good point to stop. And that's just so I can finish eating. So, thank you for watching. Have a good one. Don't forget to like this video and comment. Comment what you enjoyed about it. What was your favorite part? And all that stuff. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. And for more Resident Evil 3 Remake videos. I think we're like halfway through the game. If not close to the end. Maybe more than halfway. I'm gonna say more than halfway. And, yep. I hope you guys have a great day. Have a good one. Bye.